Hello and welcome back to the WP Globe YouTube channel. Today we are going to speak about implementing AJAX in WordPress. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML and it is a combination of web scripts and technologies that enables web pages to be updated without reloading the entire page. So if you use WordPress then it will be interesting to you to reveal how to implement AJAX in WordPress. So today we are going to learn how to implement AJAX on WordPress, uh, e.g. AJAX call, asynchron, JavaScript and XML. In a short time, AJAX gained popularity within web technology. It was used on many websites. Its key feature is that AJAX can manage database uh, operations without reloading the page, with the help of PHP but without refreshing the process. This means uh, that it can make changes in the database and you view them simultaneously. In other words, you may fetch the data from your database and display it in the front and without refreshing. It is a very easy and quick way to display the content. And AJAX results are commonly used on your website in different ways. For example, you may create a theme to manage all the operations with AJAX and without refreshing your page. Today we'll see an example on the auto scroll plugin showing, for instance, how we may change the button color with the help of AJAX call. And for, the opera for that operation, we need HTML, JavaScript and PHP skills. Also, we need to know the jQuery uh, AJAX method and WordPress hooks. You need this knowledge to understand AJAX more professionally. So we need to find auto scroll on our WordPress. Now I use localhost with the exam server. So we enter exam, htdocs, uh, click on the appropriate WordPress folders, then WP content plugins, and find auto scroll for reading plugin. We transfer it to the code editor in order to make changes. So I have already made a form by clicking on input, typing a color and by tapping on it, AJAX call will be completed and the button color will be changed. Now let's begin. Uh, so we need to enter JS JavaScript where we need to write. But first we should find the needed element, take its data and transfer it to the database. So to implement AJAX in JavaScript, we need to add WP and Q to the NQ script and add the localized script to the uh, NQ where the URL should be placed. On WordPress, all the AJAX calls are completed uh, with this PHP. That means that all the URLs we send to this PHP. After that, the operation is fulfilled and we get the response. Now let's go to JS. Here we should write an appropriate JavaScript code. Here we need to enter the home page, find the button, do the right click on it and press the inspect button. And from the code section, copy WPG submit button, uh, this piece and paste it to the appropriate place on our JS code. Now let us refresh the page and see whether everything works perfectly or not. Now we need to add a class here, then update the page. To save your time, we do not present the whole process of code writing. And now when it is ready, we may move forward. And here we'll find the parent, then our button input, then take a value and here is an action. The function to what we send the call is here. And afterwards is the AJAX call. We put the URL from the NQ that we have already implemented and the method is marked as a post. Data type is JSON. 
With its help, we'll transfer the data and take it back also with JSON. And in the data section, we put the appropriate color that should be changed in DB later and the name of the action. When we make all these changes and it was sent to the server to be confirmed, we see attributes like success where we received the first response. This means that all the changes that we made were confirmed. And if there was an error and the Ajax call could not send the 200 status, then it is placed here and made an alert. Now let us return to this function and it is placed in public PHP. And all the changes should be made here. And after that we'll encode it uh, via JSON and do the WP die. This is written to prevent all the possible errors in order not to see them in JSON. So we clear everything, then encode it and use WP die to stop the continuation of the code. So in order to find the hooks, we need to enter the folder includes. Then find WP Ajax and WP Ajax no price. This is to make Ajax work even in the incognito mode. Now we are required to write the hook and then implement your custom hooks name. Currently I have inserted the function name and we see what function we should call. In this part we see in what class it is placed and in our case uh, it is placed in the public class and the appropriate method. The same goes on for the next hook. And now the Ajax call will definitely work. If we did not complete the operation, then we would have received 400 bad request status. Let us add a word dump uh, to check uh, whether everything works or not. For example, word dump hello. To see the Ajax calls, we need to enter the network section and after updating the page, we'll see them. Oh, we encounter the mirror. Now I'll correct it. So now the Ajax call works appropriately. And the reason was that we have not put the die piece in our code. So now our var dump appeared. And every time the Ajax works, we can see it on the preview and response sections. Now we need to go to our localhost and in the table options section, change this value and afterward change the color with javascript and every time we change it here the color will be changed automatically now i have already written the code and here is what i did so i took the requested color sent from the data and wrote a function in data php due to which i have selected the appropriate option and took this value to decode in JSON. And after that, we need to update one more time. Here you may see another function where we utilize WPDB. So we update the appropriate table, write down the values and put the meta keys uh, where uh, should proceed with the update. After that, I return the piece encoded with JSON. Here I make the status uh, true so that the JavaScript works correctly. Here we may also add the else piece, check other cases, etc. And in the case of any errors, the alerts will work immediately. And now I send the button color to find it immediately and change it when I need. Let's check the code, refresh it. Now, as we see, the status is true and the color has changed too. So today we learned the main functionalities of Ajax. Hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If yes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notifications on.